In episode number two, we talked about cancer stages. There, we mentioned that the higher cancer is graded based on criteria that we have discussed, the more difficult to treat it is. I will put a link to episode number two so that you can go back and watch it if you need to. There, we also mentioned that since high-grade tumors are difficult to treat, with no doubt, early detection systems of cancer is so important not only for diagnosis but also for successful treatment of the disease. This is why now many cancer research activities are directed not only towards treatment of cancer but also towards development of new systems that detect cancer at early stages. Here in this episode, we will be talking about early cancer detection systems and tests for several cancer types. We will be breaking it down in several parts so that you can focus on your cancer type of interest. So now let's go ahead and have a closer look. Early diagnosis of lung cancer. Large nationwide studies have shown that there is not really a correlation between early screening tests and prevention of lung cancer. Quitting smoking and leaving environments that may trigger lung cancer, which we will discuss in another episode specific for lung cancer, have found to be more effective in preventing lung cancer rather than performing a screening test for early detection. In regards to screening tests or diagnostic tests, a standard chest x-ray may be ordered by the physician. And if something suspicious has been found, your doctor will require some additional tests. One of these tests are sputum cytology, which checks phlegm under the microscope to detect any cancer cells. Phlegm is a mucus coughed up from the lungs. Usually it's been asked for early morning samples and three days in a row. There is another screening test which is a step forward from chest x-ray and exposes lower dose of radiation, which calls the low dose helical or spiral computer tomography scan. Research has shown that spiral CT scan can detect nearly six times more malignant modules than a chest x-ray. Although the cost effectiveness of this method is very impressive, the downside of this method is that it may provide false positive results. One note I'd like to mention here is that there are few more diagnostic systems for lung cancer which are generally more used as diagnosis of lung cancer rather than early detection. We will discuss such diagnosis systems later in the lung cancer episode and for other cancer types as well. As you can see, there are many detection systems and tests already in use to detect cancer at early stages. Please make sure you check them with your doctor to ensure an early detection of possible cancer which may lead to a successful treatment of the disease. So I hope this was helpful to you. Thank you for watching and I see you in the next episode. So we hope this was helpful to you. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more cancer videos. And once you subscribe, don't forget to hit the bell so that you can be informed when we publish our new video. Thanks again for watching and we will see you in the next episode. Take care.